Hello. There's been a lot of conversation going on about Sonic. And I felt like I need to say something because I'm blue. And just like Sonic, I also care about blue things. So this is a list of Sonic the Hedgehog video games from Wikipedia. And as you can see, there are many of them. And I think that while releasing these games, they kind of forgot something about what Sonic is. And many people have talked about how Sonic should be fast or pinball or, or physics or gaining momentum. But I argue that Sonic has something almost as important as those things. And that is the appearance of the games. Now, I made a list here of some games from Wikipedia. So look at Sonic 1. Compared to other games of that time, Sonic 1 looks gorgeous. The game looks beautiful. The color, the colors are great. There's red and blue and green and this cool design and the, 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 the boxes here. The, streets. the game looks great. Now, how does it play? Eh, not so great. Let's be honest. Sonic 1 doesn't hold still. It's pretty... It's pretty annoying. You actually need to, to run and then crouch to get the, to, to start spinning. It's pretty annoying. There are spikes everywhere. The, the game spikes everywhere. The game doesn't hold in its gameplay, but it looks gorgeous. And we need to think how it looks compared to other games of that era. And, and, and then look at Sonic 2. Look at Sonic 2. Sonic 2 literally improved everything look at the color palettes it it's so shining it is so beautiful i'm i'm seriously seriously look at sonic city even sonic city which looks like crap okay sonic city is like sonic one level of crap but sonic sonic city sonic city still looks gorgeous at least at least the first stage look at that or or this one look at that and the music the music is great it moves terribly. Sonic City, let's be honest, one of the worst games mechanically moving. The, the exploration doesn't do good to Sonic. The time mechanics, it's, it's atrocious, really. It's a terrible game. You try to play it right now on 2022, it's, it's really unplayable. But Sonic 2, it's still fun today. And look at, that co look at those colors. It's just, it looks beautiful. Looks beautiful, plays beautiful. I mean, this is how you make a game. And then they improved all of that even more with, oh, sorry, not that one. This one, Sonic 3 Knuckles. The models, the colors, everything about this game is perfection. No wonder in every list, this is the top Sonic game. It looks gorgeous. The combination of blue and red and, and red, the Knuckles red and, and the Tails orange. And every stage here is a masterpiece of, of beautiness. Yeah, every stage. Every, I, I'm trying to think of a stage that I hate, but I love all of them. Sonic 3 Knuckles is just a beautiful game. And you know what? Mechanically, mechanically, it's genius. Nobody talks about it. But but Sonic 1, Sonic 1, you have to gain momentum. Physically, you have to run and gain momentum. Sonic 2, you gain the spin dash. So you, now you have free momentum on the ground. Sonic 3, Sonic 3 Knuckles, they give you free momentum on the ground and in the air. If you're Tails, you can fly everywhere. If you're Knuckles, you can glide and climb. If you're Sonic, you have the elemental shield. Electric shield gives you momentum upward. Fire shield gives you momentum forward. Bubble shield gives you, give you rubber momentum downward. You get momentum everywhere. If you gain, if you gain Hyper Sonic, you get double jump in any direction. You, you can go, you can go, you can go on, on diagonal down if you want to. You can, you can dash it's, it's the first boost mechanic you get that in the air wherever you want to this is not only a game that's fun but also a game that looks good how do you top that well let's see what they had in mind after that now sonic 3d blast is a game that looks compared to other games in that time it looks pretty good right it looks good the music is great i mean the game looks good it controls terribly it's one of the worst controlling games in Sonic series, it's really a bad game. You just, you don't want to play this. If you play this today, you're going to slide, you're going to, it's a weird game. First time I saw this game playthrough, I saw Sonic run and then, and then um, spin and kind of sliding onto the enemy and running. And then the enemy exploded. I thought, oh, there's a cool mechanic. Sonic's going to run and spin in the, in, and, and then the spikes in the back is going to, are going to scratch the enemy and kill. No, it's just bad mechanics. It just, it controls bad. But it looks fine, right? It looks fine. Then we move to the Advanced Series. And the Advanced Series, Sonic Advance 1, looks great. It looks beautiful. Really, it just, it looks beautiful. Controls, 
not so much it's kind of it's kind of weird weird momentum mechanics with the Game Boy advanced thing it's it, it looks better than what it controls but it's gonna take it or leave it you know you can play this game and, and enjoy it and Sonic Advance 2 looks even better controls slightly even better there are arguments about the controls of this game but it it's actually a fun game I remember playing this I managed to speed run every stage I really really loved this game since I'm also a blue ball shaped character you know so this game it's fine for a, for a Game Boy Advance game look at other Game Boy Advance games these two are doing wonderful these two are doing magic and same with the Saturn and, and Genesis era look at these games everyone every single one of these games except Sonic CD this is crap every single one of these games they work and look great compared to the era and the console that they released on now here we get to the weird part because you see Sonic Sonic Rush Sonic Rush doesn't look good okay there is no excuse for this game Sonic Rush doesn't look good and then and then I don't even wanna I, I, I don't even want to put this here Sonic 4 what did they think did anyone test this game it looks look at this look at the trees the game looks bad and you know what you know what's worse these two games not only they look bad they control bad they control exactly as they look you see the trailer you watch gameplay of these games and you you, you feel oh no it's gonna be bad control and yes it controls bad and then there's some redemption with Sonic Mania. Look at that. Look at that. You give the fans control and they, they give you a game that not only looks great, controls great. This is Sonic. This is Look at the colors. Look at that. This is this is vibrating. This is vivid. This is great looking. Look at this crap. Look at the trees. What the hell? What, what did they think? Now, you know, this is the past. We can go and, and, and be stuck in the past. We have to go to the future. We have to look at how we can improve next. And I have some, some two games here that I thought um, worth managing, one, mentioning. One of them is Sonic Spinball. Let's go to the picture. Sonic Spinball. Sonic Spinball is a game that looks gorgeous, all right? Compared, compared to the games in the Genesis era. We had back then, I mean, what we had back then, this is like 1990 something. When was this released? This is like, this is like 1993. Uh, well... Well, Sonic 2 looked better, but Sonic CD, you can argue Sonic CD looks worse than, than this one. The Sonic R, it looks interesting, like, right, like pinball and vibrating blue and something about this game looks great. Controls, terribly. It's like one of the worst, I mean, it's almost as worse controls as actual pinball, and in actual pinball you don't really have controls. But this game was kind of ahead of its time. I wish they will make another Sonic pinball game, but until then, you know, this... This game, it, it looks fine. It looks, it's look, it looks like a fun game. And then there's Sonic R. Sonic R released in, in 1997, which there's no redeem. I mean, this is the year that you have Ocarina of Time and, and Mario 64 and other games, Crash Bandicoot. And this game, it looks like crap. All right, let's 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 be honest. It looks like crap, but it's still beautiful. Look at the colors. Look at it. Everything here matches. It's like someone who, who, someone actually sat down and matched the colors. The game looks great. And yeah, it controls pretty bad, but once you get into it and the music and all, it's a pretty fun game. And if you look at the colors, this game is vibrating, it's fun, it's beautiful, it looks great. This game, vibrating, fun, looks great. This game, again, this game, crap. This game, crap. So, up until now, we have games that look good, you know, vibrating, colors, red, blue, green, yellow, orange. Look at, tells us orange and Sonic's blue. And then Knuckles is red. They they work so bad. I mean, so good. They work so good together. So well. So so. Even here, even here, which is a bit pale. I mean, Sonic it looks a bit pale here. Knuckles and and Tails look a bit pale, but it still looks good. And here again, they look good. And then Rush and Sonic Four, they look kind of crap. Now you think, all right, in the two D games, they were pretty much on point most of the times, right? And then 3D games, you have stuff like Sonic R, which controls bad, and the polygons are bad, it's, 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 that's really cheap 3D, but the game, the colors, it, it looks kind of good. It looks like a game that you want to play. So when you move on to the next 3D real Sonic games, you would expect that it will take something like this, that looks good, and just make it look better with decent, decent 3D, and then improve the controls to be perfect, right? Well, 
No, we get Sonic Adventure. And, and look, the characters in Sonic Adventure look fine, right? Sonic, Tails, Amy, Knuckles, they look fine. They, I'll be honest, when I was a kid, um, uh, when I was a small guy, I printed Sonic Adventure pictures and hanged them next to my, my bed. I went to sleep with, with Sonic and Tails and Amy and Knuckles going like, yeah, rap, and my hands are the size of my head and going everywhere. And you know what, if you're not a die like me, with my hands are like the size of my eyeball, um, I mean, if you're a human, your hand is probably roughly the size of your face, so it's logical, but it looks weird. And then you put Sonic and his friends in this real life environment, and it looks so out of place. And the colors are so boring. Look at this game, it's dead. Look at Sonic R. It is so vibrant and beautiful and blue. This is like, this is like detective Pikachu movie kind of camera with colors popping inside your face. And this looks so bland. And you know what? Okay, this is the first time Dreamcast, Saturn, they don't really know how to create a 3D game properly, so Sonic Adventure 2 looks even worse. And honestly, try to control, try to play Sonic Adventure 1 or 2. Play them, play them today, really. Just sit down and play these games and tell me that they control good. No, they don't. Not only these games, you know what Sonic R? Sonic R controls terribly, but at least, at least it looks good. Sonic Adventure 1 and 2, they look bad, and they control bad. They look bad compared to today, they look bad compared to that, to that time period. I mean, Sonic, Sonic Adventure 2 was released in, in 2001. 2001. You know, the, the, here, look, the art looks great, but the gameplay itself, oh, it's terrible. But that's redeemable, that's redeemable, right? I mean, that's 2001, it's so early in the 3D, you didn't know anything. And then we have, a, we have a gem here, Sonic Heroes. Sonic Heroes released in 2003. That's only two years, only two years after one. And, and look at that. The game is beautiful. Look at that. The game is just, it's, it's beautiful. And you know what? I'm looking at, and I, and I say, I'm looking at this, and I'm thinking my, to myself, the graphics are crap, right? Not to, mention the, not to mention the controls of this game, which are even worse. One of the worst controls in the history of Sonic. But look at the colors, look at the popping blue and red and yellow in the world. And you know what? This, this stage is gonna be the, the theme of green and red and blue and it's, it's there. The, 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 the design of the game knows what it's doing. And here, they have no idea. They just, they, they just take a Google map for the Google Earth photo of a city and put Sonic in there and then blend his colors. That looks bad. That just looks bad. And Sonic R, why is such a bad game looking so good? You look at a, you, you go to a gaming shop, you go to Steam and you look at games and you want to buy this one. You know, when I was a kid, when I bought my first Sega Genesis, called the Mega Drive. You look at the back of the box, like the PlayStation, and you have these small screenshots of games. You have one screenshot of every game. One! One screenshot of every game. And you're supposed... You're supposed to buy the game, depending on that one screenshot. And you look at all the games, and you buy Sonic 2, and you buy Sonic 3, because they look gorgeous. They just look gorgeous. And you go to a computer shop when you're a kid, and you see Sonic Heroes, and the game looks gorgeous. It looks good. It just, it looks good. <sighs> why do I do this? Why? Why Why do I go into Sonic review? Why do we care about Sonic so much? You know, Sonic 06, this is a very blurry picture. It's not doing justice to the game. Sonic, Sonic 06, Sonic 06, the game is, it looks fine, you know, it has potential. I remember watching demos of the game and it looked fine. But the game moves so bad. And again, these realistic like robots and every, the environment, this is like an HD version of, of Sonic Adventure. An HD version of Sonic Adventure. Everybody said, where is Sonic Adventure 3? This is the one, this is it! Sonic 06. 
is Sonic Adventure 3. And it's bad. Because you put Sonic, a cartoon character, in a realistic world, and it looks bad. And then, we have this Wii thingy... Let's just not talk about this. Looks bad, plays bad, a failure, right? And then we have Sonic Unleashed, and there, I think there's nobody who thinks that Sonic Unleashed looks bad. Because they managed to take these realistic-like environments and make them cartoonish. Or at least they chose, they chose places that match Sonic's culture. Sonic's cartoonish. Sonic's ca cartoonishness. I mean, look at that. Sonic in, in Secret of the... Uh, Sonic and the, and the Secret of the Ring. What's the name of this game? Sonic and the... And the and the secret Sonic and the Secret Rings. Oh, I can't believe I wanted to buy this game when I had a Wii. So this one and Sonic and the Black Knight. The, the, I mean, Sonic is running in swamps that look very realistic, like medieval thing. This is just—it looks terrible. It just looks bad. Sonic looks Sonic look bad. Everything here looks bad, and the game even controls bad. But then Sonic Unleashed. You know, the game looks very good. Controls. Kind of good, kind of good. The Sonic stages control good. Sonic, the the Wer Werehog stages, let's not talk about them. But in general, the game looks good. And then we have we have Sonic Colors. That's Sonic Colors. Sonic Colors. Sonic Colors looks good. Gr gr looks good. It's great and good. It looks good. But the I hope good isn't a, a bad word. I'll check later in Urban. But the game looks good. Controls mediocre. I mean, I I believe this is a step down from Sonic Unleashed. But it's it relatively, relatively looks good, right? But the problem is... Oh, Generation also. Generation looks good. Generation looks wonderful. One of the best looking games. I mean, they took the Sonic, the old Sonic games, Sonic, Sonic stages, and just made them... Look at that. Look at that. It just... It looks so good. Look at the vibrant colors. It's just, they knew what they were doing. Look at Chemical Plant. They, they took the colors, they knew what they were doing. This is how you make 3D Sonic stages. This is... A stage design that looks like Sonic. And th that's the boost mechanics. There's argument if it's good or bad. But that's the boost mechanic in its best version. That's just tight controls. Controls go. I remember one of the first trailers of Sonic Generations. They showed um, all the different paths that you can take in the stage. And it was like a moment where in like two minutes. You, you can go up. You can go down. You can dash up. You can jump here. Double jump this. Go, wall jump. Bash your foot into the ground. Break the bridge. And... And it looks fun. It looked fun. It plays fun. Even if you play this game today, it's fun. But the 2D stages are bad. I mean, they look good. They look gorgeous. But they control bad. So up to this point, I would argue that Sonic's appearance, the colors of the stages, and matching Sonic's cartoonish style to the stage, I would argue that this is as important as the game mechanics themselves, if not more. Because we have games like Sonic City, who look and sound good, but control terribly, and they still manage to redeem themselves, right? Then we have games like Sonic Spinball or Sonic R, which look good, but control bad, so they can't really redeem themselves. So it's a take it or leave it. But we know that games that look good and con look, look bad and control bad, they're bad. And games that half and half are half and half, sometimes even redeemed because Sonic is in such a bad place right now that we will take everything we can. Now, Sonic Lost World is a great example of one of the most beautiful Sonic games. This game just looks gorgeous, from the colors to the animation, Sonic's animation, everything about this game is gorgeous. Even the enemies are... Uh, 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 I mean, look at the enemies, where's... Whereas um, Sonic, Sonic 06, look, it's like realistic robots, weird thing is. But here we go back to, to the beetles and crabs and like old Sonic enemies, which are cartoons like Sonic. And it matches. Everything about this game is just beautiful. But the game controls bad. It's one narrow Crash Bandicoot like street. This is not Sonic. This game is not fun to play. It's a nightmare to play. But it looks great. If only, if only they could make a game that looks great and controls great. Why can't they do this? Sound theoretically so simple to do. <sighs> why? Why does Sonic Forces exist? Why do they think that taking, taking, revolution and making a game around it is a good idea? I mean, the game looks bad. It controls bad. Everything about this is bad. 
This is like Sonic Generation? Sonic Generation. But worse controls, worse appearance, blend colors, everything is on fire and doomsday. This game is bad. And did I completely skip Sonic Boom? I completely skipped Sonic Boom. No, you know what? No, we need Sonic Boom here. We need Sonic Boom. Sonic Boom. We need Sonic Boom. Sonic Boom is important. Not this Sonic Boom. The game. Rise of Lyric. Look, I'll say one thing about Sonic Boom. The game can look beautiful, right? The colors, the colors of the characters are very well presented. The blue, the red, the yellow or orange thingy, and the and then the, the, the pink, and then the bad is like green. The game looks it looks good. Even the character design, I can give it a pass, except for Knuckles. But Tail Sonic Amy, you know what? Actually, I think this is one of the best Amy designs. The game looks good in appearance. Controls, probably the worst of all other Sonic games combined, including 06. But at least it looks good. Now, Sonic Frontiers is about to be released in presumably half a year from now. Half a year from now. And the game looks like this. I've watched the playthroughs and people try to redeem this game, say that this is only an alpha, this is an old version. But look, even in the final version, enemies will still look like realistic robot weird thingies. They look like a new con like a new generation console. Seriously, this is like PlayStation 6, Xbox 720. We 3000. Look at the grass. Look at the Let's go back to to Sonic Lost World. Look at that. This is Sonic Grass. Let's go back here. This 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 is Sonic Grass. This is cur spiky cartoonish. Look at the f look at the stupid flower. This is not how a flower is supposed to look. This is not how a beetle is supposed to look, but this is how they look in a Sonic game because Sonic is a freaking cartoon hedgehog. But look at this one! Sonic is still a freaking cartoon hedgehog, but now he's in a realistic world with Unity, basic, Maya, Unreal, th grass thingy. I, this is look. This looks bad. And when you look at videos of this game running, the animation, the stiffness, it, it looks like such a nightmare to control. Really. This looks like they took Sonic. Sonic. Where is it? I removed it because I didn't want to remember this one. Look like they took Sonic Forces stages, right? They took Sonic Forces stages and they just mashed them together. They mashed them, they clumped them together in 3D and said, voila, we have a open world, an open world Sonic game. No, 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 this is, this is bad. This is just, oh, it looks bad. It looks not fun at all. And I've been saying this for years, I haven't been streaming, so you don't know this, but I've been saying this to myself for years. Sonic, Sonic team, they know how to take feedback. And then they take the worst, or the, the, the wrong parts of the feedback and implant them in the new games. They take feedback, they take the wrong parts of the feedback, all the good from the feedback, they took it, they put it aside, and then they take all the wrong things from the feedback, all the complaints, and make them into a new game. And you know what's worse? What's the worst thing? That the Pokemon company is doing exactly the same thing. 